right, folks, we are back. We're going to go to Zach, Kevin, Kurt, and others, 866-582-9933. But first, I want to play this clip. we got a story up over at uh, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. LAPD implies owning guns is illegal. Meltdown of 40,000 pounds of firearms aimed at keeping illegal guns off the streets, yet most of the weapons were legal and handed in by law-abiding citizens who kept guns at home. A CBS News clip out of California was prominently featured on the front of Yahoo today, uh, showing LAP, LAPD melting down 40,000 pounds worth of illegal weapons to prevent them ending up on the streets in the hands of criminals. And yet most of the guns shown were perfectly legal and were handed in by law-abiding citizens who had kept them in their own homes. The sheer gall of the propaganda shown here is staggering. Because for anyone who doesn't have a decent knowledge of firearms, the clip leaves the impression that guns are illegal and owned by criminals, despite the fact that the vast majority of the guns being shown were rifles and pistols, all perfectly legal. And now it's time for Jiggity Jaron to hit the scootin' boot. And our sister station, CBS2, just co-sponsored the biggest gun buyback program in LAPD history. If you're wondering what happens to all those weapons, they're actually melted down. Yeah, KCAL 9's Stacey Butler is live to give us an inside look at that whole process. Hi, Stacey. Sharon, hey, hey, for right now, uh, security reasons, we can't tell you exactly where we are, but that's because this smelter where we're at uh, melts thousands of guns every year, so security is very tight. In fact, earlier today, SWAT team members were out here guarding a caravan of trucks that were delivering almost 2,000 guns off the streets of Los Angeles and now into the smelter. This is an assault weapon. An exclusive look behind LAPD's biggest gun buyback program ever. I expected maybe 500. We got 1,700. 1,700 rifles. This is uh, very dangerous. Commonly referred to as a street sweeper. And guns. This is a semi-automatic 9mm. Unlocked. The first thing we do, rack it, check it to make sure that it's empty. And load it. Okay, we're set. Onto truck after truck. As a platoon of LAPD SWAT team stands guard. Every weapon you see was turned in during LAPD's first anonymous buyback program. They were dropped off, no questions asked. It's not just uh, criminals, but people have them in their homes that really didn't want them. Uh, that's where you get the, the kids accidentally shoot themselves. Carefully delivered to a smelter. Over 50 miles away. We check all the weapons to make sure there's no batteries, no lead, uh, and no, no ammunition. This is where the guns are melted down. A scrap bucket like a clamshell drops all of the weapons into a blazing hot furnace that's running at 3100 degrees Fahrenheit. Weapons that could have ended up in the hands of criminals are melted down into rebar for construction projects all over the Southland. We're taking illegal weapons off the street and uh, put to a better use. Sixteen police all right, that's enough of this clip. Southland. I'm done with that cute girl in the hard hat. Anyway, <laughs> folks, give me a break. First of all. Uh, the cops in a lot of the cases are the criminals, especially in Los Angeles. Oh, there's no corruption in the police department in Los Angeles, Jason. That's fairy tales. So off the bat, the majority of the criminals, I mean, the real, I, listen, not like there's not gang crime and actual criminals in California. But, you know, who helps them run the drugs? Who are the ones that put illegal weapons on the street? Rogue police officers. So you're telling me all the automatic weapons are there? Give me a break. And to show you that, you know, pistols and shotguns and rifles are illegal is just ridiculous. We're going to come back, take your calls at the Info Warrior with Jason Burmas, prisonplan.tv, infowars.com. Many human illnesses can be attributed to the fact that soil in the United States no longer provides plants with the mineral elements which are essential to human nourishment. Many studies have shown that the majority of Americans are deficient in minerals. Deficiency in any one of the more important minerals actually results in disease. Go to raworganicvegansuperfoods.com today and see the wide range of foods available that are designed to help your mind and body work the way they were intended to. You can also visit the link on prisonplanet.com to see some of the amazing products available. Folks, you've got to try this. These foods promote nutritional excellence, health and well-being, beauty enhancement, and truly sustainable agriculture. 
Many foods today have herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and insecticides that were not intended for human consumption. Go to raworganicveganSuperfoods.com today and see some of the amazing products available. You are what you eat, so eat what your body needs. Remember to go to raworganicveganSuperfoods.com today. This is the GCN Radio Network, home to hard-hitting talk radio. No one knows who gave the orders, no one asks about the crime, no one looks behind the curtain, and no one questions why. The only time we got is right about now, I cross my heart, I take the vow, I'll never turn. I'll never bend I'm with you now Until the end All right, folks, we are back. Tonight's the test. Let's kick this segment off with uh, Zach in New York. You're on the air, sir. Yes, sir. Who, who was that that you just came out of a break with? Oh, that right there is Tom Morello. That's the live album, Axes of Justice. There's about five tracks. That's called Until the End. It's actually rather excellent. There's a lot of actually great songs on that live album, and Tom Morello now has two separate albums as that. They're all acoustic. They all sound great. Uh, it's called One Man Revolution and The Fabled City. Okay, I had no clue. But, uh, you know, how do I, I don't know how to say it. I just uh, respect you guys and whatever. But Alex is <laughs> really uh, confused about the, the term pedophile and child molester. Okay. You know I'm saying? The, uh, there, there's quite a difference between a person who is uh, attracted to something and somebody who is actually, you know, raping children. You know. Yeah, but do you really think that the, a child in that case has... You, look, to me, no, 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 anybody no, no. who's over 18, whether or not it's consensual... Yeah. Yeah, but still, no. even listen to me. Anybody who's over eighteen and you're having sex with a minor, you know, I would say, you know, eighteen. No, no, no. I'll, I'll even let it slide to fifteen or fourteen. Whether it's consensual or not, it's I'm it's not pedophilia. Even going there. I'm talking okay. about a, a psychological term. You know, I've taken college courses. The term pedophile mm -hmm. has nothing to do with what you what you actually enact. It's mm -hmm. it's a uh, a term of of attraction. Mm -hmm. A child molester is a is the same as a rapist. It's somebody that goes and, and goes and does those things. But a, a pedophile is not a person who commits a crime. It is a child molester is the crime. You know, if I was a necrophile mm -hmm. and I went and was attracted to that, and I went dug, digging up graves, and I would be a criminal. But my attraction is not the crime. Well, to me, I got to tell you, Zach, and I thank you for the call. It's apples and oranges <laughs> to me, brother. It really is apples and oranges to me. I mean, look, the bottom line is if you're having sex with children, uh, I, I mean, I would, I think that's pedophilia. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misguided, but uh, uh, I don't know. Not my thing. Anyway, let's go to uh, Kevin in California. Kevin, you're on the line. You're, yes, sir. Yeah, Jason, just want to say thank you for doing what you do. You're fantastic at it and keep it up. Thank you. And secondly, uh, two days ago, you had a call from Manuel from We Are Change San Francisco talking about confronting Richard N. Haas about the Bilderberg Group. Yes, yes, I do remember that. All right, so just wanted to give you an update. Um, mm -hmm. The video is now up. Uh, okay. That was me and him who, <laughs> just to tell you the, how it went down, basically he started giving his book signing. So mm -hmm. I went up there, you know, and I wanted to catch his attention, so I'm literally a foot away from him, I say, you know what, thank you for coming out, shake his hand. And I say, you know what, I'm a very concerned, you know, U.S. American citizen. And when he sees that I'm a concern, I feel scared, in the video you can actually see his knees shake like a little schoolgirl. He just seems so excited and giddy to get off on seeing, you know, the public so scared and, you know, that they're manufacturing this. But the second I say Bilderberg, he actually throws up his hands like an immature little kid and then refuses to make eye contact as I elaborate how I feel U.S. sovereignty is being threatened by meeting in secret with royal family and bankers. Um, 
If you're on Google, just Google Richard Haas confronted Bilderberg Group. 